All right, we're taking out the clamps from the Bulgari Cho we glued yesterday. nicely secured. So now we can get on to gluing the other seams. Yep, that corner is nice and solid. Put some hot water down in here. Get the glue loose and clean out the dirt and Get the old glue reactivated and you can see some of that dirt there. You pull the knife back out, that will go back in there so we're going to clean it out here. It's one of your benefits of doing this from with the top off. You probably can't see it very well, but there's a bunch of dirt and the glue coming out on this side too. Alright, now, uh, got all the old glue out, that's the edge, you don't want that uh, in there when you're trying to glue it back, it'll be wood to wood, not old glue to old glue, or old glue to new glue. Okay. Distributed. And we'll get a little of the excess off before I put my first clamp on here. clamps we used over the, in the corners because they are all set and ready to go to the right length. Sure there's no glue on the back, which there's not. Spindle clamps are easily made if you want to do some of this stuff at home. Yeah, we'll take them all up a little bit more because as you put one on, it brings them together. This is a commercially made one. These are the three we made right here. So we'll clean up the excess glue. Dirty that old glue is that we pushed up. Alright, now we'll go on to another seam after we clean up this glue right here. What? That's right. next time.